I've I've just uh, investigated a very cool new band, <laughs> new old school band. <laughs> uh, hey, where is it? Ga guys, where are you? Oh, there he Here, is. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. hello, hey. nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, would so you please introduce yourself, uh, please? For a second. Hello, I'm Mike. House of Broken Promises. Arthur C. House of Broken Promises. Joe Mora. House of Broken Promises. First question: Are you married? No. Are you divorced? No. 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 Why then you have the name House of the Broken Promises? Oh, What man. did you promise? That's uh. Well, we didn't do the promising. Some uh, other uh, entities did the promising. You know how that came about? Is me and Mike playing Unita? And through all the bullshit that we went through with, you know, the big labels and all that, that's kind of how that name and when we started this band, we're just like, no hold barred, no bullshit, let's go full throttle, high performance rock, and uh, that's kind of where the name came from, man. All the bullshit that we dealt with, so. It just, it just made it feel that way, you know, I, mean, I feel like everything around is crumbling, but, you know, we rose above it, but at the time it just felt like a, you know, a big broken promise. So uh, the other name is uh, not a shit of the mainstream, but uh, the House of Diamond music, uh, like, uh, a little bit like that. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's uh, it's shining through the fucking bags of bullshit that were dropped upon us. Okay. Uh, because we have last time, this is the actual album, a new one. Where is the new one? This is live. This is yeah. us live at Desert Fest in London. When did you play that live? Uh, that was what last April? May. April. May. Yeah, April or May of. Uh, May last year 2013. Yeah. Yes, that's in London, and then we did a show in Berlin as well. Yeah. How did you create these songs, which are here on the record? How did we create them? We yeah. all got in a room, started writing riffs, and fucking wrote some riffs, wrote some more riffs, and then he sang on them, and he played drums on them, and I did some riffs on them, and shred some solos, and we recorded it in our studio, and bam, there you go. Well, this is live, but the. Anyway, that's it, songs it, were written. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is it, is it uh, true if we say uh, you had uh, some more energy and uh, you do that energy together and then the songs uh, were created and were fluently definitely, stoned, definitely. Uh, played live no in that? Not and, uh, with any preconceived yeah. ideas. Yeah. We all get in a room together, yeah. start the playing. The all together. And and, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we all have, you know, I'll come in with riffs and stuff like that. Joel have riffs, Mike, and just we get in the room and then we hash it out. But a lot of it. Like the new stuff, it's just we were in the room, and sometimes that's the first time you pick up that guitar or bass, and something comes out. And uh, is there a little difference between, for it, for example, in Unida style and that style? It's like definitely that? different. It's more it's more high performance. We call this our high performance rock band. It's 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 more it's more higher energy. We're shredding more. It's stoner rock, Kiss, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's definitely different. I mean, it still has you know the desert vibe and the. But it's more, you know, people call it stoner metal. It's a little more metal tinge, you know what I mean? There's more double basses, more solos. Do you know? like that cliches? Uh, the cliches, stoner rock? Stone rock. I don't care. That, that one, that one. If you want to get stoned, yeah, yeah. if you want to get stoned and rock out, feel free, please. A powerful you know I mean? music. A powerful music. And it's it's heartfelt, and, you know, it's 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 melodic. Huh? And, you know, you need as more kind of straight ahead rock, but it's it's similar but different, you know? Different do, you, do, do you have any live stuff on YouTube or anything? Tons. On that? Tons. Tons. We have okay. the whole Berlin show on YouTube. Okay, okay. And the people can, if they go on Google anywhere that like they that, can Google, they can find it. If they do, howthefrogs.com, they find it and they can demand it if they are in Europe. Please and you have demand it. And okay. we'll be back in HBP Music and Facebook. Okay. There we have our own you know, YouTube channel. We just got the website going. Howthefrogs.com. Yeah, so. Uh, not, not a normal question, but even if there are some uh, organizers from concerts in Europe, Is it also possible to stay in, to, to, to get a contact and then perhaps to say uh, we have a big uh, open air to make a booking or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, For sure. Uh, Please yeah. do. Yeah. You can hit us up on any, like Facebook or anything yeah. and uh, just write an email and you just get write an email. We're and good then to go. You can go deeper and so or on. Or talk and, uh, to Klaus at Vibra Agency. Okay, okay. Um, wow. We're actually. We're actually, HWP is doing five of these shows for this Unita tour. Like we Very did cool. Hellfest, Very HWP cool. did yeah. Hellfest. We're doing Berlin, where we'll be both bands. Um, Milan, I believe. Slovenia, I believe. And I forget the other one. 
And uh, we're and, going uh, live. What, what do Monday. You and what do you think if uh, the first two, five people who like the interview we do will get a CD? Sure. sure. Is it okay for you? Oh yeah. Or okay. when we come back, we'll get them in the show for free. Hey, this is also worth. And uh, I could only say good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate uh, it. Old school sentence. Keep on rocking, stay tuned. Keep on yeah. rocking, stay tuned, and, baby. Uh, hopefully, we'll get uh, more powerful records like this. Yes, we're working That's on right. our new one. Enemy, the power is going to get bigger. Roll. Well, when, yeah. when is the next release uh, plan? For, for example, our little bit. Yeah. by the end of the year. Okay. We're all busy. We're Late doing this. Fall. We're doing okay, that. Okay, you'll play that and then yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, if not, if, definitely in the, the year. But the goal is by the end of the year for sure. So we can say, if not the end of this year, begin next year. But yeah, surely yeah, yeah. there will come new material or more material. Yes. And yes. Uh, we're shitting out hits, baby. We're shitting out hits. And who, 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 who are making the photos and the cover? Oh, uh, the cover. I did the cover actually. I did the whole design. Wow. That's wow. actually a real human skull that I have. I took a picture of palm trees outside my house. Took a picture of. Do you, do you like to be creative also? I do, I love... It's quite the renaissance I, man. I'm super nerd like that, so... He uh, does a lot. Good right. friend of ours, uh, Chris Wenger took the pictures, and Chris Miller, and then I did all the design in the Photoshop, and I created the logo, yada, yada, yada. I have one more question. Will you please tell me if you're playing what kind of instrument and why that kind of... Uh, uh, for example, I have an bass because I love that one little bit the technical question. I play Gibson Les Paul Customs. Yeah. Why? I mean, do you Is have to even <laughs> say anything else? I mean, geez. I do have a lot of Ibanez guitars too that I use a lot and you need it, but I, I found, you know, when you find that one guitar that you get it and it's just, okay. and like, okay. and I found that one. So, Gibsons and, uh, I mean, I've got multiple amps, but that, Gibson Les Paul Customs, Customs is my favorite right okay. now, totally. I play Gibson uh, short scale uh -huh. SG basses. I'm a fan of like Jack Bruce and Cream. Uh -huh. And I like the way he played, kind of like, you know, like Geezer Butler style, hand down the neck, but I like the short scale bass, it's easy. Really so, cool. And sing. So. Okay. okay. I would say Ludwig Pasty, there's no matching the sound, you know what I mean? It's not like a, there's no way, to, not to sound like a used cars film in here, but it's just like a, just an awesome sound. You get on there and you get out of it what you want. You're really it's American classy. rock and roll guys. Yeah, you're, you're this kind of Gibson's and, and Ludwig's. What's up? Yeah, yeah. No. So please. When are we in Switzerland, Pasty? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, give him a deal. I put an email last night. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Smart. I did. allow me a personal treat because I'm the only one who has no hair anymore. Uh, you have, you have hair what are you talking about? Uh, done hair up there. <laughs> so please, for my personal uh, remembering, the old. Deal. That's right. Deal. Keep on rocking. Thank deal. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, no. sure. Thank you very much. And please look up after the record. Go there. Look here. That cover. Check it out. Buy the house. Of, edition. Let me say uh, the house of the broken promises, but the band of the true promise metal, rock and guitar and drums and vocalists and bass. True man. And keep on rocking. Stay tuned. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.